Gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Tennessee, recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I'd like to re uh, recognize the author of this bill, uh, uh, Congressman Anthony Gonzalez of Ohio, and I appreciate he's a new member, but it didn't take him long to jump into gear, uh, to gear and to recognize a wrong and right that wrong. I yield three minutes. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. H.R. 1424, the Fallen Warrior Battlefield Cross Memorial Act, is the first piece of legislation I introduced as a member of Congress, and it's fitting that we discuss it on the floor today, just one day after Veterans Day. This bipartisan legislation would protect the display of these memorials at our national cemeteries and bar the Department of Veterans Affairs from removing these tributes as they did in national cemeteries across the Midwest in 2017. This legislation comes straight from the veteran community in my Northeast Ohio district. Over the past several years, Elton Boyer, the president of the Triple Nickel Honors Detachment, made this bill his mission as he worked to erect a battlefield cross memorial at Ohio Western Reserve National Cemetery in Seville. He and the Honors Detachments at Western Reserve collected the spent brass from military funerals they oversaw at the cemetery with the goal of some, to someday melt them down and form them into a heartwarming tribute to the fallen warriors laid to rest. When battlefield memorials were removed from the cemetery in the fall of 2017, Elton's work was put at risk. Elton wrote my predecessor, Congressman Jim Renacci, for help, stating, it has been said that the soldier's cross is a symbol for caring, honoring, and remembering. No one is left behind. Elton passed away last month. But I trust that he is looking upon this house today, proud of the vote we are about to take. His efforts were not in vain. Battlefield Cross memorials stand in cemeteries across our nation as a tribute to the service of fallen soldiers who have given their lives for our country. They depict a soldier's boots, helmet, dog tag, and inverted rifle, and have been a non-controversial, time-honored tradition since at least the Civil War. As Strongsville, Ohio VFW Commander Tim Zavonchik told me, it's imperative that this custom continues to be displayed for as long as the sons and daughters of this nation are willing to give their lives in its defense. Michael Kuhn, a combat veteran from Maslin, Ohio, explained to me what this memorial means to him. The battlefield cross encapsulates so many of the most important things to a combat vet, the rifle, the boots, tags, and most of all, a fallen comrade. It's extremely important for us to have those things wrapped up in one memorial for us to kneel to, grieve with, and talk to our brothers in arms that have died the ultimate death in laying down their life for us and their country. As a combat vet, you relate to very little outside of that world and always feel like an outsider. Whenever you see that combat cross, it brings a somber, quiet feeling of peace for that moment that you have that direct line to your fallen comrade. I'd like to thank Chairman Takano and Ranking Member Rowe for bringing H.R. 1424 to the floor today and recognizing how important this legislation is to our veteran communities. I urge my colleagues to vote in support of the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I